bowling, bowling, yeah, bowling, 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 bowling. So today we're at Arden International again on the F3 simulator. Today I have got Angus Fender with me, which is really cool. Um, you probably saw he won the last round at Alton Park. So we're going to do a little bit of coaching. Uh, he's an amazing driver, so I'm really looking forward to it. Um, obviously going to be doing Silverstone GP because that's where we are next weekend. Uh, one of my favourite tracks, which I say about everywhere, but this is one of my favourite tracks, so I'm really looking forward to it. Buzzing. Silverstone GP, my favourite. This bit, the chicane, my favourite bit on the track. Normally, it's my fastest bit of the circuit. Normally. <laughs> How's the steering? Yeah, it feels fine. Sure? Yeah, it's... What about brakes? Brakes good. Is it um, on the setup where I need to warm the tyres up or...? Yeah. Yeah, thought so. Two, two laps around here and then it'll be about 95%. Okay. Third lap. So, third lap you can push but it's 95%. Fourth lap go. Did you trail your brake in there? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. That was a bit ambitious on cold yeah. You being ambitious, Jim? Yep. <laughs> Fuck it, give it a go. Four and four. Yeah. We want to be trying to get the front right wheel into the groove that's there in the curve. And we should go flat. Get to the inside curve. Let it run away. And then pull it back. We've still got to refine that. That's the one all the Formula One cars have their puncher on. You mustn't hit it, but you must get very close to it. Go six. Let's go five now. Brake. In. Throttle. Tap the brake. Get it in. Flat. I think a trend that quite a lot of pro guys are doing is what he likes. Oh, sweating. The people who break straight still have a problem getting into that curb, and it's really important that you get into the curb. So what a lot of people do, who are really quick there and quick down the straight, they also have the, have the fastest speeds down the straight, is they try to get the car pointing ever so slightly into the corner. When you brake then, it's not a huge brake, you just get a slight little bit of oversteer, but what it enables you to do is get into that curb. And that left front gets in towards that curb, it grips the car up, it rotates it, and you're much quicker to full throttle. If you miss the curb, you've got understeer, and then when you go on the throttle, you have to feed it in, because if you go flat, you just understeer yeah. away. Well, I'm actually BMW sim driver, so if, 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 if I'm really slow at this, then it's a bit embarrassing, <laughs> I'll be honest with you, so no pressure, but yeah, it's cool to give it a go, and uh, this place at Arden is actually really cool, I haven't been in before, so always uh, always good to try something new. I would, I'd rather you didn't lose it in the first place. Yeah, but, but better than, you know, crashing. Um, right. <laughs> What's it better than? Crashing. <laughs> oh, Yeah, so. Yeah, they're not it's anymore. It's oh. yes. And I would think on this lap we're probably 95 to 90 percent grip level on three. And you feel by half of that three quarters of the lap of this lap, then you feel the grip coming on. Free time as well. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of wine guns. <laughs> Four. Yep. Let's see. We're not supposed to eat his wine gum. He earned that. Uh, oh. Uh, Angus is just about to do a fancy slap. But you lost a lot of time. And if he does do it. Please. Get a wine gun. Yes. <laughs> that would have been. I'm not hitting the brake like that. Um, it's about, on our bar, you're probably around between 65 and 70. Yeah, you need know. another 10 or 15 bar. Yeah, yeah. What, do, you know, do you know what I was doing? Yeah, you were 80. 80. 
waiting. It's right then. You're breaking Watching like anger. a small child. Is Sorry, I'm eating. <laughs> Watching anger. You're watching anger break like a small child. Yes. <laughs> He needs to break Angus, harder. It's nothing to do with your breaking. I break harder than him. What happens is when you're in a single. <laughs> no, but he's absolutely flying. And you it looks like he's just going to go pressure. quicker as well yeah. on this lap. You were really good through here last time. Trying to repeat. This was really quick through here. Rusty, he does now a power. bit not 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 so rusty, and it just makes you realise how much curve, quicker wait, you can actually wait, go wait, through those corners. Flat. Like Brilliant. for example, now look at the difference. That was just neater, and that's four tenths quicker. Just then, he just well, went four was, tenths quicker, really and then it looked that was mega. Just good and it's just from hugging the curb. So I need to do that. We can also it gets Slow a bit competitive because then he'll wait. do a quick time, and then I want to be that. And it, it, I just like being in here with someone who can chase down their time and you can learn back and forth from them both. And obviously Angus is a, you know, a pro driver, so it's working perfectly. Gives you a bit of confidence as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It just helps so much. Try getting up to six, you can always go back down He's nearly a second up on his Delta. Well, six steps. Six steps up. Yeah, thank you. I didn't notice that already, cheers. <laughs> just the last corner, basically. Like, no, I was going through that corner in Stowe in fifth. I saw Angus do it in fourth, and it just looks a lot more settled on the car and quicker. So I'm going to give that a go in mind. See how you gain, just by making it simpler. So that was a Second really good quicker. lap, and that was underdriving driving here, yeah. rather than overdriving. driving. 58. That was a really good lap. Very good. You can have so, a wine gun now. Yeah. After that, that time. Well, half. Half, half. yeah, half. Not, not a <laughs> Oh, come on. Very good. Half. When you... I'm happy now. <laughs> when you turned through some of the corners was really scrappy. Where is that? Is that turn two? No, it's not turn two. Where is that? Uh, I think that's Magnus and Beckett's, but yeah. So I'd rather it as the car was more difficult, more edgy, it makes you drive better, like you did yeah. at the end. You knew if you were going to be quick, you had to drive better. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't like a sim quick lap. They had to actually engage normal grain rather than yeah. sim grain. You drove like a racing really driver. Out, yeah. yeah, you drove right, rather yeah. than a simulator driver, which no, is you could just attack everything. I really like your gloves. Where are they from? Uh, you're giving them from the esports team. Because right? they look like really like comfy. Yeah, more well, thin. Well, they're dedicated sim gloves. <laughs> ah, there we go then. Yeah, I know. I need some. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I have that, but. Race, I did a two minute dinner and you've just done a 158.3, so yeah, about second and a half, two. Yeah. I was actually breaking earlier than you were, so. Really? Yeah. Well, it, especially oh, into turn three, I was yeah. breaking miles before the curb. Hmm. You're actually going in quite a lot harder than I was, and still getting it stopped. I couldn't stop the car for the life. Well, I noticed in Stowe, I was going in in fifth, and it was just mm. so, the Tri car fourth. was so uncomfortable, yeah. Try fourth, yeah. So I'm going to yeah. try fourth. Otherwise, it. just, you can't get the weight, you can't get the rear to go. Yeah. I think our traces are actually quite similar. I don't know if we can overlay them at all at some point. Yeah, we, normally we can, so hopefully you mm. can do that for us. I think the slow speed stuff, you are pretty bloody close. Yeah? Yeah. That's right. Because I was, I was slower through the last set than you were, like. I love, that that's my favourite yeah. bit, yeah. Those last three quarters, <laughs> no, I was terrible. Um, <laughs> but no, it was good. It's good fun, and we have like quite a lot of time left, so. And like I was just saying on uh, Tatara, having yeah, you here, like you set a lap time that I can then push to, it just mm. helps. Yeah. Just like chasing something. It's a shame that we can't do it in the same session, otherwise you could have oh, a Delta. Oh, that'd be brilliant, yeah. yeah. Otherwise you could have chased onto a Delta, which would have been handy, but... No, it's great. It's a good reference, isn't it? So I do like how it's not easy. Yeah. You, you, you have to actually work it, and I jumped in and thought, oh, this would be all right. It's fun, <laughs> yeah, because if you manage to get this around consistently, then the Prague will be no problem at all. So. There we go. Back at Steve. 
I I might make a setup change and see if uh, see if anyone notices. Just to try and make it a bit easier. Either that, or I'll make it deliberately really hard and just see if anyone notices that. Either. I thought I'm looking like a superhero. <laughs> There's your time. Now I'm going to take away all of the arrow. Have fun in the wall, everyone. I'm going to smash you with all your settings. <gasps> that just goes nope immediately. So. Yeah. I'm going to have no break, aren't I? <laughs> Same high. Yeah. So um, going out again no, just after so Angus went out, he did a 58, so I'm gonna go for a 58. <laughs> Make some changes on a few corners. Change the gears a little bit because it, it was quicker for Angus, so I'm gonna give it a go. See how that goes. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna really push this time. Get in the zone. When I got a lap time in my head that I need to get to, I will push for that lap time. <laughs> no matter what. So can't wait for next weekend. Can't wait. Smoothing out as well. It's just that curve on the left, isn't it? Yeah, well, well when you find the rhythm through the high speed stuff, you'd go into the corner and then you'd get the power on and you'd drop the lock because you know where the edge of the track is. Yeah. So when you get that kind of confidence in the car and you're releasing it to the exit of the corner, the exit yeah. speed you'll find. I mean, okay. you, you saw the delta, didn't you? Yeah. So, <laughs> found like two tenths on one corner. Just one and uh, after that, that was going to be a 58, I don't know, eight, I want to say? Definitely. Eight yeah. or seven, yeah. yeah. Um, but um, yeah, if you think about it, it's, say, say you finish the lap and it's 58-7, yeah. you just found oh. yeah, <laughs> almost two seconds yeah. yeah, and that's in two sessions, now you just need to refine it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Very good. Yeah. That was, yeah. that was kind of cool. Go and get a one gun. <laughs> Yay! Um, yeah, yeah. Good. Ah, good. Plus. What flavour? Green. <laughs> I don't know oh, what flavour is it, apple? <laughs> 
<laughs> it's, it's either red or purple, okay? Come off it. <laughs> Psychopath. <laughs> what are you doing? I can't believe that. I'm very disappointed. <laughs> I need the Harry Potter. Okay. I'm not having another one. Look, I'm so down Surprise me. Years, uh, just well, like I've you, had to, you have to, had to like, really, it, really, so really work so today, so and I'm, I'm meant to be a pro sim driver, so I'm meant to be quite good on these things. So, um, I think if. Yeah, Jen's been yeah, really close to me, and actually I've learned a bit of her and her driving, especially the brake. The brake balancing okay. um, see how you feel into the slower it. stuff, so it's, it's pretty good. we're learning off yeah. each other and we're both improving each other, so it's definitely a good thing. And um, <laughs> translate that into Silverson the weekend, where it's all about keeping minimum speed up. Then um, hopefully this will be great. And thanks for watching, and make sure you keep subscribing and get everyone you know to subscribe because there's going to be a really cool competition, which you could be here with me on that sim if you want to go. Uh, so yeah, keep subscribing guys. Thank you for all the lovely comments from the last round. Didn't go to plan, but next weekend will be better. But yeah, thank you.